Hey everybody, welcome to Techmark Gaming. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix the issue with the PlayStation Portal and your iPhone or Android hotspot not being able to connect. This is a widespread issue and we're going to fix that today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to Techmark Gaming so I can be recommended to more gamers like yourself. In the meantime, let's go ahead and fix this. Now, if you've been having trouble connecting to your Wi-Fi hotspot, then you're not alone. Especially if you have iOS 17.3, you're faced with this message here. And I read somewhere that T-Mobile has a network of NAT Type 3 and the PlayStation Portal is a NAT Type 2 device. Either way, we're going to get around that. The first thing that you want to do is go into the PlayStation Portal network settings. You want to scroll down to set up internet connection, then remove the registered network of the hotspot that you are connected to by hitting the start button and you want to press forget network. Next, you want to set up manually. Then you want to enter your network name. This is your iPhone or Android phone's name. Then you want to go down to security method and you want to choose WPA3 personal. Next, you're going to enter your hotspot password. Double check and make sure that there's no typos. Then you want to go down to IP address settings. You want to click into that and click manual. Next, you want to go down to IPv4 address and you want to make sure that you type in these numbers exactly how you see it on the screen. These numbers are case sensitive and if you miss anything, it's not going to work correctly. Next, you want to go down to subnet mask. We're going to go ahead and click into that and you're going to apply these exact numbers that you see on the screen as well. Press enter and go down and you'll see default gateway. We're going to go ahead and plug these exact numbers in. If it's going too fast, then you can always pause the video. And one of the last things that we want to type in is the primary DNS. So go ahead and type in these numbers here. This is the last thing that we need to type in. So you guys are all good to go. Now we're going to ignore the secondary DNS and go down to proxy server and we're going to click into that and make sure that it says do not use. Next, we're going to go down to connect to hidden network and make sure that that's on and that's it. Press done. And as you can see, the PlayStation portal has connected to my iPhone. I'm using a T-Mobile hotspot. And as you can see, there is one device connected. Now, the next thing that we need to do is go ahead and connect the PlayStation portal to the PS5. So we're going to go back out of the settings and press the PlayStation button to connect to the PlayStation 5. And as you guys can see, I have the iPhone here and it's connected to my PlayStation portal. And I put a time lapse on the video. It took about 25 seconds to connect to my PlayStation 5. I'm using 5G with two bars on my iPhone. So this process really depends on your connection. And voila, we're connected to the PlayStation 5. I'm able to navigate through my PlayStation 5's home screen. As you guys can see, the icon and the screen is still vibrant. And just for proof, we're gonna play 2K23. I'm playing a story mode because honestly, online is not great, especially if you're dealing with some competitive people, the delay will drive you crazy. If this video was helpful, be sure to smash that like button, comment below and tell me what games you like to play on the PlayStation portal and subscribe to Techmark Gaming so I can be recommended to more gamers like yourself and I can give you more tips about the PlayStation 5 and all his upcoming games. In the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Deuces.